Aha, I caught you. Aha, I caught you. What do you think you're doing? You're going to sneak to get a Valentine's gift or something, eh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm actually not so good at this. Oh well. Yes, happy Friday and you're welcome. And this Friday happens to be Valentine's Day, so yay! Happy Valentine's Day, my lovers. How are you doing now? So what are we doing for Valentine's? This is my Valentine's gift to you. And I hope that it is good enough. <laughs> yeah, so what's happening today now? What are we doing on this amazing day? Okay, so I've noticed that I don't introduce myself in my videos and I am sorry. So let me just do a introduction. My name is Morayo Ahunaya and I am a photographer, vlogger, architect and many other things. I've written a book before and yes, I am here to just, I'm on this platform to learn and to share on different topics with you. And in this particular year, we're, we've actually sectioned every quarter into a different set of topics. So in this quarter, what we're doing is personal growth and development. The next quarter will be about faith and love and relationships. And the quarter about that will be more focused on business. And then the last quarter will be about the updates of our year, our goals, reviewing them and resetting them. So yes, in today's video, we're going to be talking about avoiding distractions. Very important. I mean, I know we've gone far in the year already, but there is no lesson that can be learned at any time. So yes, how have we been doing thus far? How have our goals been? Mine have been going well, especially with the reading. Let's let it go. <laughs> but yes, um, one thing that I've battled with though is that I love Instagram and I love all this medium so much, but learning to focus and to put my attention when needed that is something that i'm working on and today i'm going to share with us how i help myself with that how i work on that so yes avoiding distractions what do, what are things that you consider distractions i mean something that is a distraction to you may not be a distraction to me and there's some necessary distractions for instance if you are a stay at home or work at home mom for instance and you have children they will distract you so how do you walk around that necessary distractions even in your office space for an office person your colleagues may be distracting you social media is a big 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 major distraction TV so there are many distractions in life and you have to define what your own distraction is I will not go ahead and tell you what your distraction is but you will know Oh, that this is a distraction. This person is distracting me. This device is distracting me. This space is a distraction. You know, it's just a whole. Like, I remember when I was a student, I wouldn't go to the library to read because I wouldn't do overnight reading. I would read in my bedroom or I read in my father's office because. I was just not that kind of person where people are making noise or reading together that was a distraction to me so you have to know what is a distraction what is your own weakness i like walking at night i can i'm, I'm a day or night person you know, like some people i can walk during the day and i can walk but i love walking best at night because it's like so many spirits are flying around during the day or for some reason and they're just distractions but at night everything is just calm soothing and cool so let's just talk about let's go right into the video i spent like five minutes talking about distractions so how do you avoid them all these numerous distractions that you know that are particular to you and how do i avoid them the first thing is to plan i mean you always have to plan you always have to plan planning is essential it's like basic life skills right so you plan from the day before you plan what you want to do when you plan you've already cut your distractions by half you have a goal you have a target you have a focus you know 
He said, this is what I want to do today. And you don't do too many things. It's what I advise, you know. This is what I want to achieve this week. And don't write too many things. You have to have a plan. You have to stick to your plan to try as much as possible. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. I'll read a book a month. If you can do more than I am setting for myself, you know, what? remember the video, are your goals too small? You will know when your own goals are too small. If they don't inspire or motivate you, if they don't, if they don't ginger you, if you don't feel like you're doing something extraordinary, then you know that you're not aiming higher. But we're not talking about goals today. We're talking about distractions. So by planning, you cut your distractions. You know, setting those, okay, this is what I want to do tomorrow. You know, you can set it in the night. Some people start by writing out in during the first thing during the day and it sets their mind on focus. The second thing is to find out when you function best per time. I mean, working during the day is like a necessary evil for most people. You have to go to work and there's a set time. This is when the lights are, 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 are shining. It's when there's work to be done. So you have to, but during that time, I remember my, my I used to work eight to six in Lagos. So and then when I got there, this guy shared how he does his own life with me and he helped. Break time was any time he decided to go on break. So um, from eight to nine in the morning, just come in, just, just play, be free, loosen up, you know, before you get into the routine of the day. So nine, nine to 12, the first three hours, he does his most important tasks. I, and I adopted this. So I'm saying it's he, so that you can apply it if you want to. So he did his most important tasks, nine to 12, right? Then between 12 to one, one to two, he was just chilling. And then from two to three, he did the intermediate things. Okay, so in architecture, there are different, there are different parts of architecture. So maybe you have really serious drafting to do. You can do it between nine to 12. When your brain is still fresh, when your brain is still, still cool. I mean, if you want to do maths, like then I remember when I was in secondary school and uni, you want to do maths, all those hard courses, you do them when your brain is still fresh. Hopefully you slept overnight because if you didn't sleep then sorry for you when your brain is still fresh you do those hard ones then the intermediate ones so that you can feel like you've achieved something between two to three maybe letter writing and all those things you do it between two to three and you can you can also have lunch within that period that's like lazy recharge battery period then three to six which is almost when we close three to like five that, is, that, that part of you that has recharged and, you know, refueled, you come back and if you have any important tax again like that, the second most important tax or the continuation of that important tax, you just quickly finish it up and then five to six, you're, you're chilled again and you're getting ready to go or you're doing minimal work, you're ready to leave and if you can't leave on time. Then I didn't sleep on time, but if you can't leave on time, so yes, so find out how how much how well you function per time and plan around that. I mean, I know that I work best at night now that I have my own business. So during the day, do all the for a work at home person like me. You know that you're doing all the other things that are not so serious. Maybe sorting the for 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 a photographer now you're sorting the pictures out and you're just you're not edit the main editing work you is where maybe at night when you slept and you woken up and you want to get into working you want to get your work done the way you like it but during the day maybe house chores running around errands just taking care of yourself and then maybe sorting the pictures things that are not so serious and I try to um, make sure that I have a set of tasks that I achieve you know personal goals that I achieve then another thing that helps to avoid distraction is to declutter remove when you're about to start working remove um, when you, you about to start working you already know the system that works for you you've planned it remove anything that is going to is like a a clutter in your space just remove anything like that and then 
use focusing apps if you have to that's the fourth thing i'll advise you to do there are many focusing apps i remember when we were working there and even sometimes now there's an app that you that is called um, um time tracking apps actually basically time time tracking apps and i remember the one i used to use then was called rescue time rescue time and once in a while i still use this there are different ones there's timely there's time sheets there are different ones that you can use to to help you track your use of time and then those are like the basic thing the basic things uh, basic things the other things that you can do to avoid distraction is to go offline you know just put your phone aside and it's, it's a lot of discipline you can give yourself a break time that like, oh you come back to your phone or this device at this time but you just bury your head in work from so to time so to time that's what it is supposed to be you're supposed to be in control of yourself and your life not your devices or these things being in control of you and when you plan also i mean when you pour out your heart and your mind you know you know that because sometimes some thoughts may come into your head you're supposed to do this you're supposed to do that but that's a good thing about not just planning at night but planning during the day you've already settled your thoughts i know that you can do this and you you you, you would do that or whatever it is later doesn't mean that when those thoughts come into your mind that are distracting you can't write them down write them down just to you know have them out of the way yes so yeah um those are different ways that you can avoid um distractions or you can use to avoid distractions i have to go now um wishing you a happy and wonderful friday make sure you have fun and yes